Hey guys, I'm Daniel from Dolier Media and today I'm going to be talking about three things to help you get through respiratory school. If this is your first time watching my channel, thank you for stopping by. I hope this information helps. I'm not going to go over the basic details of study hard and no play kind of things like that. My points are going to be a little bit more personal to what I had to go through. Uh, going through respiratory school was a little bit of a challenge. I had a full-time job while I was going to RT school. And on top of that, we had clinicals and other things were happening in life. So these are three things that I recommend that will help you get through respiratory school. Number one. Number one is I recommend you drop your friends and change your lifestyle. Now, I'm not saying stop hanging out with everybody that you know. Stop talking to anybody because now they're peasants who are not in a career like yours. None of that. But what I am saying is that it's time for you to change your lifestyle. Whether you just graduated from high school or maybe you're in your 40s or 50s and you wanted to change your career and go into respiratory, this is something that's a career. And a lot of people don't understand that. It's more than just having a job. It's something that completely changes your whole life. And I recommend taking a step back and kind of evaluating who do you have in your life that you might not need. Now, the problem with this is when I was going to respiratory school, a lot of the people that I had that didn't leave their old friends behind, at least temporarily while they're in school, they struggled a lot. A lot of people want to go to school. They don't really take it as seriously as they should, and they still party. They still go hang out. They still do a lot of things with their old former friends. A lot of the people in my class were traveling, and that kind of stuff has to go. This is a program that you have to be fully dedicated to. If you want to succeed, if you want to pass, take this seriously. This is your future. You're going to have to drop everything that you're doing, which means it's going to suck. You're going to have a lot of friends that are going to go traveling and you're going to be left alone studying or some of your friends are going to go out and party or do whatever they got to do. You're going to be studying at home or you're going to be going to clinicals and you're going to have to focus on that. One of the things that helped me get through school was an old philosopher saying you either have short-term suffering but then long-term pleasure or you have short-term pleasure and long-term suffering now this is interesting because you're going to only have to go through the program for maybe two years at most three years if you're going for like a bachelor's degree now that's short-term suffering but after that you're going to have a long-term amount of pleasure you're going to have a good job with good money coming in you're going to have a good network of people in your life and this is all worth it just for three years of kind of sticking through it. Now, if you don't do that and you decide to go out and still have fun during this time, honestly, you're going to suffer because not only are you not going to pick everything up that you have to in school, but you also might not pass. You might get a loan out and you might not graduate because you were too busy hanging out or going to Starbucks or whatever you, <laughs> whatever people do. People don't go to Starbucks. <laughs> now, overall, after dropping your people in your life, changing your lifestyle, kind of taking a step back and studying and focusing everything on school. After you're done, you could fully dedicate yourself back to those people and everything else. You'll have a lot of time in your life when you're actually working. As an RT, it'll be a lot easier to have those friends. It also be a lot easier after a few years of kind of spending time studying so much to reflect on maybe you had bad friends, maybe you had a bad lifestyle. So it's going to be an overall good thing for you. Number two. Number two, I recommend learning one thing at a time. Now, the biggest problem that I've encountered in my personal life and also the people that I knew that went to school with me and people that I've talked to afterwards is they kind of try to jump ahead of themselves. When you're in RT school, you're going to be overwhelmed. There's a lot of things to learn. You're going to be like, I just can't pick this up. There's too many things to learn at once. The one thing I recommend is if you just study one thing at a time, focus on one thing, master it, then move on to the next. After a while, you're going to realize, oh, there's actually a lot of things you know. Uh, towards the end of your school, towards the end of your two years or whatever your program is, you're going to realize how much you actually know. The problem is if you focus on too many things at once and don't fully master each thing individually, towards the end, you're going to realize you actually know very little of everything. You'll quickly learn that each thing you learn in RT school is a piece of the puzzle. And you really won't be able to see the picture until you actually master each piece of the puzzle. If you only have a few pieces or if you kind of understand the concept of a few pieces, you're not going to get the overall picture and you're not going to be a good therapist. So I recommend when you're going through any kind of new thing, like if you're studying ABGs or vents, forget about everything else. 
Don't think about the future. Just focus on that. When you're going to be starting RT school, the first few things they're going to teach you are things like small volume nebulizers, oxygen delivery, very basic things that in the large scheme of things are all very important. But when you're just starting RT school, you're kind of like, I want to learn how to intubate. I want to learn about vents. Don't worry about that yet. Honestly, just focus on learning about small volume nebulizers. You'll be surprised at how many people go through the entire program and towards the end they start forgetting all the things in the beginning of the school semester because they never actually paid attention. They were so focused on learning how to intubate a patient, which isn't, I mean, it's important, but focus on the first things, focus on the elementary basic principles, and then you'll be a better therapist. Now, a side note with this, if you are going through a hard time and you can't figure out something, if you're going through ABGs and you just can't master it, I honestly recommend there's a lot of good videos on YouTube. If not, you could ask me if you're in RT school and you need some help with some random thing in school, hit me up, ask me, I'll love to answer your guys' questions. Just focus on the one thing, master it. That's what I want you to take away from this. Number three, invest in your future. If you're going to a paid for school, it's pretty expensive, I'm pretty sure. If you're going to a community college or university, it's also pretty expensive, maybe a little bit cheaper. And on top of that, to add an extra expense, it almost seems unfair. You're sitting there and you're like, I spent so much money on my schooling, why do I still have to pay for extra learning or extra tutoring? Honestly, you need to invest into your future. You need to invest into what you're gonna learn. These things don't come easy and they don't come cheap. Don't skimp on the things that seem like they're kind of pointless and extra. One thing I personally recommend is Kettering. Kettering is a course you could take online. It's like 150 bucks, maybe it's 200 bucks now, but it helps so much. It's something that I, I recommend everybody who's going through RT school, if you haven't heard of Kettering, do Kettering. Now, if you have anybody in your life that's a nurse, I recommend UWorld for nurses. That's uworld.com. That's gonna help you so much. These little extra programs Although they are expensive and you feel like they might be a little bit of a waste of money, they're going to help you so much, especially when it comes down to taking your NBRC or your TMC. These extra little things do help a lot. With that being said, I also recommend you invest in the equipment you have. Don't go cheap on the shoes you wear. You're gonna be on your feet for 12 hours a day. You're gonna to have to have some good quality shoes that are comfortable. You don't wanna wear any cheap shoes that you're gonna have achy legs, achy feet, and your back's gonna even hurt after that. You wanna have some good quality shoes. If you're buying scrubs, buy some good quality scrubs that aren't gonna shrink after two washes. If you're buying a stethoscope, spend a little bit more money. If you need to borrow some money, this is one of those things where it's important. It's for your future and it's gonna help you out. Get a good quality stethoscope, and in the long run, you're gonna be very grateful. Once you have your job, you'll be pretty easily able to pay everything off if you took out a loan or if you put it on your credit card. If you couldn't afford it, I recommend figuring out a way to maybe even getting a job just so you could pay for these extra things. They will help you out in the long run. Ultimately, you're in RT school. You got two years ahead of you or whatever time you had ahead of you. It's going to be really hard. At times, you're going to not be able to handle it. At times, you're going to want to give up. You guys are crammed into a classroom or a few classrooms with the same people for two years. There's going to be drama. There's going to be things that are going wrong. In my case, I was working full time at the same time as going to school. It was really difficult. So with that, just stick through it. Don't give up. If you need some kind of support, emotional support, moral support, maybe try to have a group in your class form some kind of social group where you guys can actually talk about what you're going through. Just venting helps out a lot. But again, this is short-term suffering for long-term pleasure. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, hit a like button. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you have anything to add. Thank you.